Alrighty guys, it's the next day. It's floor day. I am so pumped. I can actually get my subfloor in here. Did you hear that whistle? <laughs> Anyways, I can finally get my subfloor in today, which is amazing news. Ah, just music to my ears. And hopefully I can get some pieces for the floor, the window framing as well. Oh my God, there's a dog across the street and he's so cute. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> The owner definitely came outside and saw me talking to this dog by myself. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hold. Ugh, we're gonna head over to Home, Homey Deeps, man, aka HD, aka the Home Depot. So let me go ahead and get her started. And um, I did all the measuring last night for the bus, so I need about 14 pieces of two by threes for the framing, and then. I need four pieces of insulation board that is four foot by eight feet. Then I think I need the same amount of plywood, the four four pieces. That should cover her up. That should do her. I got 14, seven on the side, seven on the side of two by threes. And for my uh, wheel well, I'm gonna be filling this around the wheels for that insulation. some freaking vigorous labor I got these plywood boards foam boards and two by threes into the bus successfully by myself I also wanted to go over pricing with you guys so these foam boards are one inch uh, they're four feet by eight feet and they run for $19.96 or something like that but just round up $20 each piece so I have four of them because I have about 130 square feet in here and I had a square footage calculator on Google. I'll link it down below. And I found out how many of these I would need to fill up that square footage. It was four. Same thing applied with the ply boards because they're the exact same size as my foam boards. Uh, the plywood actually went for 1456 or something, which is amazing. I thought I was gonna spend a lot more money on some plywood, but this is perfect. I don't need anything thick or crazy. I have plenty of insulation going on. So this was awesome. I got four of these all running at like $15 each. Then the three by, or the two by threes, are 4.96 or something but just round up again five dollars i got 15 i mean 14 of them and my ladybug is still on the freaking wood this is awesome just following me in my journey so yeah and i also got this green fiber insulation only six bucks guys that's amazing um i think the regular price it goes for is like 15 so they had a sale i got one of these um that should be able to fill up the gaps in my wheel wells just fine and I might have some left over which is awesome and then back there I just have liquid nails for my two by threes I will not be screwing them into the chassis instead I'm going to be gluing them to the chassis chassis and then screwing my plywood to the two by threes I also have insulation tape to go in between the gaps and some screws so yeah we are ready to get a subfloor down Alrighty guys, so it is 4th of July, so there will definitely be some fireworks going off in the background, but we are still doing subfloor today. Um, I have a party to go to at 6, so hopefully I can be done by then. It is already 2, almost 3, so gosh, I need to get on it. But I went around in the cracks and just filled it up with the sealant that I had, and then I ran out of sealant, so I used a little bit of liquid glue, I mean liquid nails, <laughs> so I feel that should be okay. But yeah, I've sealed all that off and I went ahead and swept the floors. I had a little bit of insulation come out of my bag. So I just put it there for now because that's where its home is anyway. So yeah, now we can start cutting up the material. I have placed it over here. So everything is ready to go. 
Okay, so right now I'm in my little workshop and I've never used a circular saw before. So I just looked up a YouTube video on how to get this blade out. It's just a piece of paper. Um, it came with a blade. I'll put the link in the description on which circular saw I got. It's the Black and Decker, Black Plus Decker. I don't know how you say it, but anyways, it came with this blade, which is a seven, seven and one fourth, 18 T meaning it has 18 teeth around, but I wanted a, ah, I'm dropping the blade. I wanted a more precise cut, so I got the 60 teeth. So it's gonna have 60 little teeth around. And this is the one that I saw other people using, so I went ahead and bought this. It has a nice little protective thing on the outside, which is perfect, because I just dropped it on my foot. So I'm so glad they did that for me. And yeah, it looks great, it is meant or wood, which is what we're gonna be using it for. So, when I watched the YouTube video, it said that it came with a little piece that should go in here for me to undo it. It's literally right here. Okay, so they put it on the actual design of this, so that's why I couldn't find it. Nifty, but also sneaky. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece in here. And then it twists, and that's what the YouTube video showed. And there should be something, oh, this little tab here, this little clear tab that I have should hold the blade. Oh wait, that's something else. Well, there should be another one. Oh, here. Also not doing anything, okay. What if I lift? Nothing, okay, what is this doing? that one. Okay, so on this particular saw, there's like a little button in here, this black button right here. That's what you're gonna push in order to remove this paper blade and put in your proper blade. So now that I got it loose, I can go ahead and do that. Take off my little paper blade. Place it with my 60T 7 and 1 fourth 5 8 Arbor wood cutting saw <laughs> blade. Saw blade. So then we're just gonna slip it in there. Beautiful fit. Oops, we're gonna not drop that. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. So my blade stays still so I can tighten. You don't want anything flying off in the middle of me working. So that looks good. Nice and secure. And I did get a corded one just because they're cheaper. Um, this blade or this whole saw unit was, um, I believe, $38? No. I don't know. I'll put a link in the description, of course. It's a pretty decent sized cord, so I guess I'll get a little station set up to where I can start getting my subfloor in. Okay, so now that I've figured out the saw and I'm all set up and ready to go, I'm trying to figure out an area where I can cut my wood. The only table that I have at the moment is the one that has all my supplies on it. So I just cleared off like half of it and really I'm only gonna be cutting the two by threes like this and then I can find a different way to use the entire pieces of plywood. I'll probably just move everything off the table at that point. But I also wanted to show you my little written measurements of the bus and how I'm going to calculate the size what I need. And even though I already wrote down those measurements, I want to be a thousand percent sure that everything is measured correctly and we are measuring twice and cutting once. So I'm going to go ahead and measure again, make sure I have the proper measurement. I'm going to go copy and paste it onto my first piece of two by three. I'm so excited. Okay, so it's saying 90 inches. So yeah, let's go measure 90 inches on my wood and come back. So as you can see, my measuring tape is across my first board and it is way past the measurement we will need. 
I need it at 90, which is right here. So I can go ahead and cut off this entire piece. So let me go ahead and plug in my circular saw and get to cut in. This is the diagram that I came up with for my bus. What I did was went around with the measuring tape and just measured each perimeter of the entire vehicle. And once I had all of it in inches, I then converted it to feet. So then I could figure out how many two by threes I would need because they come in eight feet. So if I just got a whole bunch of eight footers, where could I put that in? So this one's 7.54 feet. So I need, I, I know I would need at least one to go up here. That's why I have a little one marked there. Then it's the same thing over here because the entire bus is going to be 90 and a half inches in width. So I knew that I would need one piece here, two pieces there, three pieces here, four pieces here at least. So these are gonna be all my eight footers, well, 7.5 footers. And then I went around and had like, you know, came up with the circumference of the wheel wells and just added up that total. So I need like one foot here, one foot there. So all of them were, else were just kind of calculated and rounded up. So after measuring everything, I came up with 14 pieces total. So that's what I got, 14 pieces of the wood. And we'll see if this came out correctly. So follow along. <laughs> but I've tried tightening it multiple times and it's not tightening even more. So we'll see what happens. It is not even able to cut wood because it's so loose. So I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out how to tighten it. So on that paper saw that they gave me, there was another piece like attached to it. So I'm assuming this needs to go in somewhere. I was like, I need like an extra washer or something. So this is exactly what I needed. Found it, let's fix it. There's no moving around, it is 100% secure. So that little bit that I showed you that was attached to the paper saw, I put that on first, then I put the saw, then I put the little twist on top. So we're good to go, yay! Okay, now let's try and cut it again. in the bus but it started making like this build up I have no idea what that is I feel like it's some type of wood build up but that doesn't look like wood it looks like plastic super weird but I'm gonna remove that and keep going because it got stuck okay so I removed the plastic and I feel like it was this heating up and it melted or something so I'm gonna try and move this while I cut for people who are like duh what are you doing this is my very first time using a circular saw. Very first time using most of these tools. I think I grew up maybe touching a drill five or six times and that's about it. So this is 100% beginner, amateur hour. I don't know what I'm doing. So we're figuring it out together. <laughs> you can literally see like it was burned. It was like this blade is so hot or something. I don't know. But I also noticed the middle of my blade popped out with this little diamond and it was just being so weird the blade was loose again then i had to like reconstruct the whole thing so instead of this little black piece being behind the blade it was supposed to be in front so it goes blade first then this little black piece then this little screw on piece finally i think that's correct i think that's gonna work and i think that's why i did that earlier melted off the thing but also this gets really hot so just be careful and yeah so let's go see if this piece it's in the bus. It's not sitting flush with the bus. The corner would have been in the way regardless. So I think I made a pretty, pretty good cut. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some liquid nails and go ahead and glue this first piece down. So I already have this back 
black one glued in, this one glued in. I might not do liquid nails. I'm already on my second tube and I'm almost out and I haven't even done anything. So we might just revert to regular screws. Um, but I just wanted to go over something. My plans did not work. So I measured this back area and this area, but I didn't take into account the size of this board nor did I take into account the gap that was going to be here. So that's a good couple inches that I was off. So I needed to cut that in order to fit in with this one. So now we have the proper size, but again, measure twice, cut once, because I had already cut the measurements that I had written down, forgetting that this board and this gap would be an issue. But now we're back on track. I do have this extra piece over here, but it can be used anywhere. I'm sure along the wheel wells and other small places like this little thing for my gas. So we're okay. We're back on track. But I just really wanted to show you guys that you need to take into account everything. Every look, every little nook and cranny counts. So just make sure you measure, 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 measure. Measuring twice, cutting survivor over here oh no is she dying this is horrible all right guys so for the most part i am done with the framing got it all around here this area kind of got weird that's why they're all broken up like that but still working along here and i did run out of the liquid nails so I'm gonna have to go buy some of that tomorrow. But yeah, we're looking good. I'm probably going to put one more in the back across and maybe another one going through the middle and another one going through this middle and I'll be done. this for either this middle section or this middle section i'm trying to figure out what's going to have the most traffic am i going to be standing over here more am i bleeding oh no it's marker am i going to be standing over here more or over here more i feel like this is going to be the kitchen dining area so i feel it should be more supported over there but i did go ahead and make that other bar down there so that is pretty much done that entire section so yeah i think yeah, I'm really trying to contemplate which one I should do. I think I'm gonna do this middle one. So next time you see me, it'll be done.